Top of the morning to ya! My name's Evan and I'm coming at you from Marvel's Kids Museum. We wanted to wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day and in order to celebrate, I mean, we have our own pot of gold that we love to celebrate with here, but we're gonna help you guys make your own pot of gold. Now, if you're like me, you probably have a lot of crayons laying around your house. We have them all over Marvel's Kids Museum. So we're gonna show you guys a quick little activity that you guys can do at home on St. Patrick's Day to celebrate and to make some cool crafts of your own. So what we're gonna do, we're going to take crayons and repurpose them to make new crayons. Sometimes my crayons get cracked and they're broken and they're small and they're so hard to use, but you can actually use old crayons to make new crayons using heat. So things like crayons and all things in the world have a melting point. Metal has a melting point. Ice has a melting point. When ice turns back into liquid, that's it melting. Now crayons are made of wax and dye, and when they get heated up to a certain temperature, they will melt. So we're gonna use that today in order to melt broken pieces of crayons into one larger crayon that has some cool, fun colors too. So to do this, we've got a several ways that we can do it. You can either use it using an oven, we'll use an iron as well. So in order to make one in the oven, we can use a silicon cupcake holder like this that won't melt in the oven, and we can see how they turn out. So I'm gonna take a couple pieces of this green crayon and drop them right in here, maybe some blue. I'm gonna try that out too. Hmm, a lighter green. I like to use all different kinds of colors because I like my crayons to be super fun. Whoop. And we're gonna hit that melting point. So when you have the oven set, you're gonna wanna set it to about 350 degrees or just plug that iron right in because it's gonna get hot enough pretty quickly. All right, almost done with the heart. Boom. So now I'm gonna be very careful. I'm gonna open up my oven just like this. And I'll take this. Ooh. There we go. Move that forward and drop it right there. And we'll close that up. And we'll let that go for about 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, those uh, crayons and the wax should melt after hitting their melting point and form one giant crayon. Now, in the meantime, we're gonna use the iron to show you the other way to do it. So what you'll need for this is parchment paper or wax paper. So if I have two crayons just like this, we can make a green and blue one mixed together. So all I'm gonna do is put it right here on the wax paper and maybe I'll add another color too, maybe a light blue on the other side and I'll fold it over just like this. So now that that's folded over and all three are underneath that wax paper, I'll take the iron very carefully and I'll lay it on top. You can go back and forth just like this and melt that wax. And already it's melting, oh my gosh! All right, that's probably enough time cooling. So what was three individual crayons like this is now, whoa, one giant crayon <laughs> like this. And now you can color three different colors at once. Now, let's check back in in a little bit to see these cupcake holders. Okay, so we waited about 10 minutes for our crayons to melt, and then we waited a little bit longer for them to cool. So we actually cooled them down and let the oven cool down. That's why I'm reaching in without gloves. At home, you should definitely wait at least 15 minutes to make sure that your crayons have solidified and they're nice and cool. Please remember that. All right, let's see what we got. Got this one. This one's a nice shape of a heart. Pops out a little bit easier. Wow blues and greens. That's awesome. We made these from reclaimed crayons. Anyway guys, this is a really easy activity that you guys can do at home and make sure to stay safe when you're doing it and have a happy St. Patrick's Day.